Greetings Cosmos, and welcome back to A2XD2. Today we're going to look at objects. Boing. Edible? Technically not. Anything's edible if you try hard enough. Shiny metal trinkets that were formerly used as currency. These days they are too plentiful to be used as legal tender, but through some comically obtuse process they still hold cumulative value that is converted into food upon reaching a certain threshold. Raucoin! Edible, extremely not, and even larger and slight and shinier metal trinkets are going to be slabs of gold with a familiar face chiseled on it. These tend to be converted to coins at a 1 to 20 ratio, but seem to be equally worthless when it comes to actual transaction barring some settlement related events. Leak. Debatably edible. Phenomenal cosmic power distilled into a floating vegetable. It's unknown why universal forces decide to coagulate great bundles of energy into such a shape. One of the great cosmic mysteries. Super leak. Theoretically edible. If a leak is so great, why isn't there a leak too, some people ask. And the cosmos answered with this. Its radiance? Blinding. Its potence? Astounding. Its vitamin A content? Unknown, but probably big. Red Radish. What is food if not a chance to live another day, said Aristotle the Shakespeare, before eating a radish and plunging deep into a cave where he was never seen again. Unfortunately, the empowering and restorative effect of red radishes only works on a very few species. Carrot. A carrot is considered to be less healthy than a radish, yet, and yet it has the same effect when made stationary on a plate. One has to wonder whether you're meant to eat the plate as well for the full benefits. Alright, so... Join me for more objects tomorrow. I'm going to fight a boss. Well, first I'm going to find a boss, and then I'll fight it. I'll see you on the map place. Newt, welcome to the map place. Today we visit Overgrown Underground by Entropy Rogue. I know there's some things that are banned on the bottom, but I have no clue what they are. Hi there, kiddos! I, uh, I can't help but notice you're still all still at it. So I was wondering if you could maybe turn around and go back home. If it's not too much trouble, I mean... <laughs> Wait just a gosh darn minute. That's, that's not the way back home, you rascals. Is he just going to keep doing that? Keep ignoring him, he should leave us alone eventually. Hey now, you're being right frosty rude, don't you know? Ah, oh, we don't have time for this. Well, I just thought... You know, this here volcano is really dangerous, eh? Kinda hot, but with all that fire and lava and stuff. Maybe instead of all of you folks going that way, we could have a nice little hoot nanny right here. We'd rather take our chances with the magma, thanks. Really though, going through that dastardly place all for a silly old super leak, is it really worth it? How did you know we were after the super leaks? Broadsword put you up to this, didn't he? Um, uh, uh, oh, uh, I, I, well, that's a right dandy question there for sure. Well, why don't we talk about it somewhere far away from here? Look at those smiles on those uh, vines. Well, at least we know for a fact the leak's here now. Come on, everyone! Oh, wow. Oh. I like Sheep's reaction there. Maybe you'd like to see a magic trick? <laughs> no! <laughs> Gotta say, I kind of admire his persistence. Of course you would. What's that supposed to mean? Okay, I tried to be nice, but if I'm... If you kids don't turn around and head back now, I'm gonna get real gruzzled, don't you know? I like, seriously, gruzzle. All the gruzzle. Okay, then. Let's see it. Alrighty, then. I bet you're feeling real scared now, huh? Uh, sorry, Uncle Atch. We're not toddlers anymore. Are we done here? We've got a leak to grab. Alright, you there, tell me things. These root beget for one eye lady, consume for much victory. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hey. 
I use this NPC, nothing of interesting to say. Okay, coins. I should do more coin collecting if I want my food to come out of the negative. Okay, I don't understand. Oh, I thought this might wrap around. Like, the way everything is set up, it feels like a wrap around. Oh, hey, Uncle. Can we talk about this a bit more, please? That's a banana throwing banana snakes. I love it. Hmm, I can't pick this up. Alright. Question, is it worthwhile to go up here? I have made poor decisions this day. Yeah, I'm not chasing those rock coins. Let's climb back up and forget this happened. Is it really worth all this? Just turn around, please. Let's climb back up and forget this happened. Hmm. Okay, I made poor decisions here. And that was an even poorer decision. Oh no! Sign, tell me things. Some tasks require a lot of care, observation, plan ahead, even if they don't seem like they do. For most tasks you have to perform, you have enough time, even if you don't know you do. If limited resources are available among two people and one of them needs all of it, you may as well give yours to that person and not bother him anymore. If you simply cannot achieve something with what little you have, you should be able to find a solution somewhere elsewhere. Nobody would bat an eye. Hey, Ant. This is getting really dangerous. Let's just go home. Oh, what? Those are enemies? Okay, that is upsetting. Oh no, I have to do the whole level again. I am now quite irate. Oh, you. Alright, so then... Okay, so... Just keep descending. Now, was that sign written by Uncle At to try and drive me away, or...? Perfect timing. Oh, hey, a checkpoint. An awesome power-up. Was I supposed to grab that springboard to bring with me? What's this? Oh, neat. Ah! Oh, that was coins, not a... Alright, I can see you're serious about this, but have you considered you might have another option? Maybe there's a super league somewhere else, or maybe if you went on... Away and thought some more, you find you don't need that old leak anyway. Besides, who's to say there's even a leak here to begin with? Could be anywhere. Oh, look at that. We've been talking so long that little raft you're riding on will have clean floated away. Guess you've no choice but to head back and try somewhere else, huh? Wait, this isn't a town, so time stands still while we're talking. Rats, really thought I had something there. Hmm. Well, that's an upsetting outcome. Wow. 
So, do I want to bring this with me? I cannot bring it with me. Okay, so hit this. Okay, these are coins, not an enemy. Oh, he automatically starts talking to me. Last time I thought I started the conversation with him, but I was wrong. Oh, why don't... Ah! Okay. Oh, hey, I am aware of Cat Planet. Hey, Uncle At. I know nothing I say is going to convince you at this point, but you could do me a favor just this once, right? For old Uncle At. Oh, hey, if I get hit, I... I'm not stuck. It's just easier, way easier if I don't get hit. I hate the pea balloon power from Super Mario World. I loathe it. But this power-up can be pretty fun, if the level is fun. Hey, there's the person. You will take gift, we thank. I keep seeing these and thinking they're something to pick up. Alright. The level went pretty smoothly. The boss! Smoothly, smoothly. The boss may not. So that's far enough. I really don't didn't want to do this, but but you left me no choice. I've been saving a summoning contract with the Flesh Lord just in case I ever had to defend myself against some no good hooligans. But it looks like I'll have to use it on you kids. In just a moment, a big, super duper strong fella is going to show up and and knock you all down. Well, credit where it's due. I didn't think you had the guts to go this far. Just you wait, he's gonna show up and be all tough and scary and everything. <laughs> Any minute now. One eternity later. You did opt for the express delivery, didn't you? And pay the extra three Rao coins? Those things are spendy enough already. You just wait a bit longer, he'll definitely be here. Maybe he got stuck in traffic or something? Hey, no, you don't understand. Tons of research went into this deal. I shopped around to get the highest rated Dark Lord. I compared prices, checked user reviews, I read each and every Oila. No, you didn't. I most certainly did. Gotta catch all of those pesky loopholes, don't you know? And when I saw all this one, I made sure to complete each foreign triplicate. I even sacrificed an extra Furba to make sure I had enough postage. Well, I don't know what possessed me to humor you for this long, but I'm done wasting time. Hurry up and drop the wall so we can continue. No, 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 I can't let you all go on. Uh, I'm gonna stop you kiddos no matter what, by golly, even if I have to fight you myself. Then Augustus and the others will finally recognize me as part of the family. All right then, Cood, you're up. Huh? I mean, sure, but why me specifically? So it's a fair fight. Oh, well shucks, but you shouldn't sell, sell yourself short. For him. <laughs> Oh, right. Okay, then. Okay. Eugene Horatio Asbestos, the in-law. Oh, no, ducks! Uh-oh. Cards? I have chosen poorly. Alright, am I supposed to jump, jump on you? I make good decisions. Well, so I like that pal shows up to help me out. That is fun and silly. Okay, so I can't interact with him at all, which makes dodging the cards way easier. Whoop. 
No, these are hats that have rabbits! Neat! So I wait until he's a balloon and then I can send him up. Bark, bark, woof. Ducks, oh no. Okay. Okay. This boss is kind of difficult. But I think I can do it. I feel it. It just might take me a bit. So one thing about games like Dark Souls and... Uh, well, yeah, the From Software game. Dark Souls, Bloodborne, uh, Elden Ring. You know, games that encourage and reward you for, uh, for lore hunting, but, you know, don't require it. When I was a kid, I used to... I was real real into trying to do something like that for Mario, but eventually I uh, lost the ability. Whoa! Oh, that even takes the cards away. Nice! So I need to do this, what, three times? Unless it's scaled such that the fourth one... Oh no, what are these? Anyway, like, I spent forever using just what I knew from the gameplay of Super Mario Brothers, the first one, and Super Mario World, to try and figure out why Bowser was kidnapping the princess. Woof. Yay, I win! Anyway, I didn't consider that Bowser might have a romantic interest, which seems to be a common joke now. Or that he might be trying to take over a neighboring kingdom, because I was a little kid, and I had no concept of that stuff. Also, romance was gross, because I was a little kid. Ooh, that's it, my chances of fitting in just went kaput. Well, we got what we came for, let's go. You know, guys, I kind of feel sorry for Asbestos. I mean, he's not really a bad guy, he's just underappreciated. He just wanted to be acknowledged and get along with everyone. If we'd met in a different time and place under different circumstances, maybe that's what would have happened. I'm sure we'd find he and I have a lot in common. In fact, I'd go so far as to say I feel we might share a certain spiritual connection, like we may be kindred spirits or something, I don't know. Heh, <laughs> that probably sounded weird, didn't it? Kood, I know your pain. Guys? Guys? Oh geez, sorry I'm late everyone. The interdimensional bypasses were backed up all the way through Realm I-37, so I had to take a detour through the play, play of extra extraordinarily dull forum games and... Well, this is going to be a fun one to explain at the Temp Agency. End of World 4. I thought he wasn't going to show up at all, but here he is! Alright. So, I'm going to go shove a leak into it. Hey, you. Tell me things. I earned a Chivo. Adios, Atsy. Um, anyway, I'm gonna throw a leak into a thing. Ew, that sounds gross.
Epope Aquatic. Meanwhile, oh yeah, these trigger cutscenes. So, to absolutely nobody's surprise, Eugene has failed us. It has been a rather refreshing to have him out of our figurative hair, but yes, the problem of the twins and their underlings remains. Not to mention those wretched chronotons. We must not exist, exhaust too much energy or too many resources dealing with them. As it is, our failure to secure the wing has already put us behind schedule. If we want to truly fix things, we need to finish up our operations before those feather-brained automatons catch on to what we're doing. So, if stopping the girls from starting the plan stops the plan, what are we supposed to do exactly? Well, while Augustus is off trying to track down the wing at another point in its timeline, a fool's errand at this point if you ask me, he's left us to work on plan B. You see, while observing Eugene's outing with our foes, I made a rather interesting discovery. Oh? I believe I have a way to take out several birds with one stone. But before we can big in, I have an errand to run. Well, if you don't need me for anything right this moment, I'm gonna head back to the resort. Give me a call if you need my help with this plan of yours, okay? Yay! Now, are there any new leak doors that I have access to? Don't care about this one? No, no, no. I already did this one, it's the 5. 42. How many leaks do I have? 24? 24 leaks. A card. Alright. Well, join me next time when I start the aquatic. Well, we learn more about objects than I start the aquatic epoch.